guess who I've got? I know! Okay, so I'm not giving you the files. No, before you ask, no. So in pre-release Terry footage, because we, we got a hold of uh, modded versions of the Amiibo beforehand, right? In pre-release Terry footage, we were able to see, can he do things like jab, jab, power dunk? Can he... That was horrible. I'm really, really bad at Terry, by the way. But you don't need to be good at a character to train the amiibo that character, thank God. Um, can he use his go moves? Can he do jab, jab, power dunk? Uh, can he do other more complicated things? Terry is a Shoto character. That's how he rolls. What can he learn? So we observed in the footage that I put out the other day, prior to the 10.0.0.0.01 patch, or whatever it was, that yes, he has a lot of follow-ups out of down tilt. And he has jab, jab, power dunk. He can use go moves, that sort of thing. We're going to see today, can the final... Okay, so you could have made that. You're slacking on me. Um, can the final AI product do that? That's what we're going to see today. I really hope he can. I want him to be able to use go moves. I want him to be able to do the whole shebang of moves. The problem is, uh, I'm really bad at Terry. Like, I'm really bad at Terry. So we're going to be, like the character... So he's got Power Dunk, that's good. So we're gonna be seeing what does he have in him. It's gonna take a little bit, we're gonna to have to level him up first because Amiibo AI changes as they level up. Here we go, okay, he's got go moves. Yes, okay, yes, perfect. Dude, perfect, do it again. That's not, nope, do it again. Do, do it again, do it again. Okay, so that is the exact same move that you did last time, and you didn't pay attention to me then either. Uh, can I do this? That's Power Dunk. There we go. <laughs> I, I played Terry online in Quick Play once. Once. And I never went back, because I learned my lesson. So the real question with the Terry amiibo then is how are Go moves handled? Um, I would anticipate, as as they're uh, as are similar with uh, other amiibo, that because they're conditional special moves that don't always happen, that they're handled by CPU subroutines instead of like stuff on the amiibo data. Because Nintendo is very flexible or very uh, inflexible with how their amiibo data works, they don't like to change routines and stuff for special moves. They don't like to add bytes. Um, so I would anticipate that you probably cannot. I'm just guessing here. This is literally the first time I've ever even seen a Terry Amiibo on my Nintendo Switch, okay? Um, that was supposed to be a spike. Uh, but just guessing here, I would say that you probably can't adjust how often he uses Go moves when he has them. Why does that go that direction? Does it always do that? No, it can go straight up. Is this something that I'm screwing up? Maybe it is. I don't know. Do it. Hit me. Hit me. No, no, hit me with a go move, please. No, that's not a go move. That's your ankle. Come on. Come on. Right there. Just power geyser me. Hit me in the face. That, no, hit me in the face. Power, power geyser, please. 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 By the way, you'll notice... Okay, Buster Wolf is fine. Um, You'll notice that I'm not taunting my Terry. I'm not dash dancing against him. I'm not charging any of my smash attacks. Don't ever do any of those three things against Amiibo. Um, if you're new to Amiibo training, or if you've never partaken in competitive Amiibo training before, go down to AmiiboDoctor.com. We have guides. Listen, this is a website. It's two and a half years old, and I've been uploading like once a week for two and a half years, okay? If you have a question about Amiibo, it can be answered on AmiiboDoctor.com. Believe me, it can be answered on AmiiboDoctor. <laughs> like, it's all there, buddy. We're working on getting uh, professional, highly qualified training guides for the last half of the cast. Um, I believe so much in our training guides and the quality of the content on AmiiboDoctor.com and the credibility of the content in competitive Amiibo that I literally am, and once we get the YouTube revenue checks in, going to be paying people who have written guides for the website, like five bucks a guide, okay? That's how much I believe in the credibility, I did it on accident, in the credibility of what we have on AmiiboDoctor.com, okay? I should have called it Amiibo University, but... I feel like that would have come under legal issues. Down tilt. Oh, really? It doesn't knock him farther away? Oh, that's disappointing.
at this point i'm just screwing around with terry i'm just seeing like what is he capable of um i want him to use a little bit of side special because i feel like that might might be good maybe it it feels a lot like falcon that's not side special it feels a lot like falcon kick which is captain falcon's best move bar none at least it was before the 10.0 patch so i want to see how useful is that necessarily um in the put in the the uh, modded footage he had down tilt to side special built in that was something he used a lot it was really good so i want to see is our our down tilt follow-up something that he has i guess that's really that's really what i'm after so we're going to get him to use a lot of down tilt we're going to examine his amiibo and say hey where's your down tilt you gonna use it you gonna do it down tilt yes no please thank you so that's that was what we're uh, preparing for. And don't worry. The, oh shoot, that was that was really bright of me. Good job, Doc. Oh, ah, I'm sore. I forgot. I worked out the other day. First upper body workout in a long time because I'm a distance runner and I I run half marathons for kicks, right? So I don't need to do upper body. And so I did some upper body the other day and like really sore, like right in there. Ah. I should title this Doc Hurts Himself While Training the Terry Amiibo. Okay, one last time. Give me give me a power geyser, please. Close enough, buddy. I still wanted side special, so that'll work. The the early levels of amiibo training are often the most boring, but once you get them up to like 15 or 20, then they start to get really interesting and ooh, there we go. Okay, so when this happens, do not charge smash attacks. Okay, Amiibo will charge smash attacks against shield broken opponents on their own. They don't need you to teach you how to teach them how to do it. You don't want to teach them how to do it. Bad idea. No. Double plus ungood for those of you that are uh, literarily learned. 1984, anyone? You haven't read 1984? Dude, read it. Seriously. It's like the only piece of dystopian literature besides uh, Animal Farm and Brave New World that's actually any good. And I, well... No, because Dostoevsky's work was was fiction, but it was supposed to be set in reality. So, okay. S was supposed to be set in that time period, so, alright. Dostoevsky's also good. Um, but it's a much longer and harder read. Okay, so we're going to take a guess and say that he's got down, down tilt built in now. Or not built in, but down tilt learned now. Built in. I need to get my vocabulary in shape. His up special might actually be really good. Um, so amiibo tend to stand at the ledge when their opponents are off stage. So in amiibo versus amiibo battles, that's that's usually how that goes. That up special going a bit up and over the ledge uh, might actually end up really working out well in his favor. I'm trying to get him to do more power dunk. Um, there's there's a lot of things that I want him to be able to do. Power dunk is is one of the big ones. Um, Because, look at how far that goes. It, it carries opponents with it, right? Jab, jab, power dunk. It is a KO move at higher percents. Seems like a really good move. I probably should not be using up special on stage. I don't want him to be doing up special on stage. That's a very bad idea. It leaves him very vulnerable. Uh, by the way, you're probably noticing that the Terry Amiibo is not recovering as well as he should. Um, that happens a lot with Amiibo at lower levels. Uh, it seems to be happening more frequently with the DLC Amiibo, in my opinion. It'll get improve itself over time, I hope, unless he has ridiculous recovery issues, which would be stupid. Is that not a spike? I know Ryu's and Ken's versions are, but is, is his down air not a spike? I always thought it was. I don't know, I must be losing my mind. Um, by the way, if you're still watching, I haven't even said this yet. If you're still watching, subscribe. You'll notice my Terry's named Red Button. That's the color of the button that you're supposed to go click. Subscribe, damn it. <laughs> Seriously. We're going to have Ban uh, Banjo, Byleth, and Terry footage out soon and very soon. Um, to quote the old hymn, soon and very soon we'll be rejoicing. Soon and very soon we'll be rejoicing. There we go. Well, we'll be rejoicing with the Banjo, Terry, and Bioth Amiibo because, yes, they're out. We have arenas where we, we have raid bosses of these. We're going to let you fight them. You Put your Amiibo up against them. Um, we're going to train them live. I mean, the, the whole shebang. Like, everything you can think of doing with the Banjo, Terry, and Bioth Amiibo live or on video or with you guys or anything else. Tournaments, 
all of it we're gonna do it's gonna happen and we're all gonna be really excited and thrilled about it can you hit me with like 0.5 percent please thank you yes got it that's not it okay so you have to go behind for that oh okay i got you hey doc's figuring it out good old doc look at you doc you you me i'm getting the hang of power guys all right uh and then buster wolf that's power dunk buster wolf is a quarter circle facing the opponent okay that's power dunk still that's like the <laughs> that's what you're gonna hear if you're trying to learn terry as a character that's what you're gonna hear that's power dunk that's power dunk it's still power dunk Okay, so we're not seeing... We saw some go moves from him last time, but we're still not seeing a lot of go moves from him, which is moderately upsetting to me. Um, his go moves are going to be the most broken part of his moveset, especially Power Geyser. That's like... Oh, I don't have it anymore. That's like easy edge guarding, and it's a KO move on stage. Um, Buster Wolf can be shielded, which is not so great, but otherwise, like... It's a really great move as well. So his go moves are going to be tremendously beneficial. At least as far as I can tell. I mean, shoot. We, we don't have any amiibo tournament, um, you know, like, results in yet. Because this, this stuff came out literally last night. And I'm hanging out with my brother who's in town. And I see that this happens. And I'm like, okay, we'll finish hanging out with dear old... I'm not going to say his name. And, uh, and then in the morning, we will do some amiibo. As the, the pain in the ass rectangle of light slowly moves towards my head because this, the sun is crawling across the sky. That's one of the nice things. So I, I am a college student at home with his parents for winter break, but I usually live on campus. And on campus, I don't have that problem. So, like, you know, would sure be nice not have to worry about that because the skylight's right there and the sun's coming in right there. So... All right. He's still not doing a lot of power dunk. He's done a little bit. I think he did it once earlier, but he's not doing a lot of it, and that's moderately upsetting to me. So we're going to be doing a lot of power dunk and seeing if we can't get him to do it in this third match. <laughs> this is going to be a two-part video, um, by the way, because uh, we're going to... The garbage truck is back! When I was filming the Banjo Amiibo video, the garbage truck showed up, and... Then he left. He only took, like, one house. And now it sounds like he's back. Thank you, garbage truck. I'm sure that everyone will be able to hear everything you're throwing into that bin. Rip headphone users, maybe? How loud is that? I actually can't tell how loud that is. It's moderately annoying that I can't tell how loud that is. I can see it's definitely showing up on the mic. Watch, there's going to be somebody who, like, triangulate. Okay, that is a spike. Well, why wasn't it a spike before? All right, whatever. Um, there's going to be somebody who, like, triangulates where I live based on the sound of my garbage trucks that come through. Be like, ah, well, that's a model WX-130. And I can tell because my dad used to... What is going on up there? <laughs> It's got its hazard... Well, no, it has its hazard lights on normally. Dude, I think their engine broke down. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, no, it's still... Go okay, well, okay. So it was just having a hard time. All right. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen on Amiibo Doctor. You really never, ever know what's going to happen. <laughs> I mean, there's just, there's just no telling. Like, it's so weird. <laughs> it's like somebody told me once they were like you were the most interesting amiibo content creator I've ever seen which I really appreciate when people when people give me um, when people tell me that sort of thing you know um, I work very hard on both the website and on the YouTube channel to produce as high quality of content as I can um, and uh, and I asked them I was like what, what exactly do you mean and they were like well I just 
You're so unpredictable. <laughs> it's like watching randomly generated amiibo footage. I'm like, well, I don't really know how to take that, but I'll take it as a compliment. I never did get him to use more side B or power dunk, did I? So I, ugh, I said banjo when I recorded the banjo video. Um, I said banjo was going to be really good. I'm not feeling that with Terry. He just banjo was already pretty active and pretty pretty schmoovin by twenty, right? Terry, not so much. I mean, he's he's still just camping out, and and you know that could just be how I trained him, or that could be like not necessarily indicative of the final product. I mean, it's all possible, right? Um, but he's not really going for it a whole lot, you know? Amiibo AI does change as they level up. That is a thing. Like, you'll, you'll notice the recovery issues stopped, I think. Let me check by knocking him off stage. Hey, go over there. Yeah, so the recovery issues stopped, right? So Amiibo AI does change as they level up, and that's true for Terry as well. Um... However, uh, he's not schmoovin' yet, which is concerning to me. We're only gonna use go moves now, unless I die. And then we're gonna see how well does he pick this up. Okay, so that's not only a go move, good job, Doc. I would pat myself on the back again, but then I would go, ow, that's sore, and then that would be painful. Let's not do that. Okay, so what... Wait a sec, if I'm doing a power geyser... What, what's the difference between that and turning around to do a power dunk? How does that work? Whose idea was this? Everybody who's played, like, Guilty Gear, Fatal Fury, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, like, I'm <laughs> a doctor, do you know how to do the code routine? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, no, I don't know how. I didn't play that many video games, actually. That's Power Dunk. Okay, last Power Dunk. We're going to do like a three-stock match, maybe two three-stock matches, and then I'm going to show you how to turn learning off on your Amiibo, and then we're going to call it good. Stick around until then. Seriously, stick around until then. You're probably thinking to yourself, Doc, this is boring. No, it's not boring. Shut up. It's Terry Amiibo. Ow, even that. Wow. How am I more sore two days after the workout than one day after the workout. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's see. Where should we take Terry? King of Fighters, of course. Omega King of Fighters. We only train on Omega stages. Are you subscribed yet, or what? You gonna do it? What, are you just gonna keep watching, having not subscribed? What, are you a freeloader? You're like, oh man, I love this channel and its content and I love seeing the Terry Amiibo but I'm not gonna subscribe I'm a dirty freeloader shame on you okay hold on I've never played King of Fighters how is this guy fat like he looks overweight but he's got chains around him and he's holding a cannonball. Like a massive cannonball. Is he a prisoner? There's no way this guy could possibly be fat. The amount of calories you would burn just holding that with one arm is ridiculous. There's no way that dude could be married because he would crush his wife. I mean, good lord. Alright. Sorry. <laughs> I took an ADHD test the other day and it came back inconclusive. Inconclusive, rather. <laughs> it's like, you know... Worth asking the question, I suppose. That's a very high kick person in white. Okay, so I'm not really seeing much of an advancement in AI. He's got down tilt down, so that's good. I'm not seeing power dunk. I'm not seeing a lot of side special. Yeesh. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. This could be not good. 
If, if he's up to 24, like Amiibo usually hit their peak at around 43, and then from there it's just a matter of getting the last of the stat boosts that you get from leveling. There we go, there's Power Down. Finally! Good lord, took you long enough. Um, so, like... This worries me. This worries me. I, I really went back and forth on who I think the most OP of the three is going to be. Um, and Terry was the one that I was the most certain about. But uh, I'm not so sure anymore. Hmm. That's not good. By the way, whether or not your amiibo can beat you or your other amiibo is not an indicator of how good they are. If you go down to amiibodoctor.com, um, look in the Amiibo Doctor affiliated Discord servers. You can find it at the top because um, we just redid the website. Yes, it looks so good now. It looks so good now. Um, join those Discord servers. Those Discord servers are the center of competitive amiibo. They are very, very cool. All right. By the way, the uh, the Mii Fighter is Stephen G. That's a reference to Stephen George uh, of, of Stephen Vlog. Stephen Plays, one of my favorite YouTubers. Okay, that's how you turn learning off. Now we're going to put him away, but I have to take the switch out of the dock or take out the Joy-Con. That always causes issues with HDMI stuff. So we're just going to call it here. Thank you, folks, for watching.